Hello, Hogzilla here again, and in today's video, I'm going to cover how to reduce your expenses in Tropico 6. This will not be an all-inclusive list, but just my top 10 ways to reduce your expenses. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or have your own tricks, leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel. The first trick to reducing expenses is having too many Teamster buildings. Teamsters are the people that move goods from building to building or to the docks. Building too many Teamsters wastes money by having high upkeep and wages. In my opinion, this is the quickest way to lose money as the Teamster budget is so large, so be sure to pause or demolish unneeded Teamster buildings. The second trick is to use the loose load limit work mode for Teamsters. The loose load limit work mode means Teamsters can carry 50% more of any one material, but have a chance of losing up to 10% of that load while it is being carried from building to building. This allows you to carry more product from building to building without having to build costly Teamster buildings. One other note I will say is that because you have the potential of losing 10% of your product when transporting goods, you want to avoid using this work mode when you have precision main quests in which you have to carry 1000 steel to a certain building as you will lose product along the way and they will only ever load that amount the thousand in my example. The third trick is pausing unused buildings. If a building is only being minimally used or completely unused, it is wasting money and increasing expenses. So pause or demolish those buildings. Common buildings that will go underutilized are prisons, once criminals are released, raid buildings, construction offices, and exhausted mines. The fourth trick is pausing the bank when you are in debt or have little money. Since banks only generate interest when you have money in the bank, having a bank w running while you have negative money is pointless and it actually costs you more money since a bank has its own upkeep and budget also if you have less than 13,000 positive in the bank the expense of the bank is more than the interest it is generating on a medium budget so wait until you have more than 13,000 to allow the bank to run unpaused the fifth trick is having too high of a budget on buildings. Having the highest budget on some buildings can be beneficial if you have the supply or need, but if you have a high budget setting without the supply or need, then you're not getting the payoff, then you're just wasting money. For example, you might have quite a high housing happiness rating you might be able to reduce that budget down a couple notches to save money without any major impact on your island. The sixth item is not flushing out your supply chain. If you do not have enough raw resources for your industrial buildings, you are just wasting money in upkeep and wages to produce nothing. In general, I try to apply the two-for-one rule. For every two resource buildings, I have one industrial building. So for one rum distillery, I have two sugar plantations on the maximum budget. The seventh item is unenact edicts that cause expenses like the employee of the month, agricultural subsidies, free wheels, child allowance, social security, and speedway. 
Keep in mind, for most of these, there is a negative payoff with certain groups or factions. But if you need to reduce expenses quickly, this might help a little. The eighth item is reducing or canceling all import contracts. Imports will cost you money, obviously, but in most cases, the place you source it from will add a surcharge on top of the normal base trading price. So if at all possible, avoid using imports to help rein in those expenses. The ninth item is avoid war with the superpowers and avoid war with rebels. When you are attacked, all the tourists on your island will leave, causing all the tourist infrastructure just to sit there being unused until the next batch of tourists come in a couple cycles. This means that you would have these buildings sitting here, drawing expenses and draining your bank account. The tenth and final item to reducing your expenses is try changing the constitution. Changing some of the items can directly or indirectly impact your expenses. Changing the retirement age can impact your island or changing items like ecology with the energy efficiency, which does have a direct $5 a month impact in upkeep. That is all I have for this video. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or thought, leave a comment below so I can reply. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.